Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more Petty Revenge stories. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. My brother thought it'd be good to taunt me when I couldn't eat. A few weeks ago, I had to get blood tests done, which if you don't know, you can't eat and drink anything other than water or ice for 12 to 24 hours. My brother went out of his way to eat things in front of me. Candy bars, my favorite chips, sending me pictures of him eating dinner. Keep in mind, he doesn't live with us. He went out of his way to taunt me. Oh! That's so annoying. He doesn't even live there. And he's doing all this. He's doing too much. But he went to the dentist yesterday for surgery. He can't eat anything but protein shakes and meal replacer milks. I'm buying so many snacks that I know he loves so I can sit in his house and eat them. No clusters, Cheetos, Smile Gummies, Sunflower Seeds, McDonald's Burger and Fries. I don't even like some of them, but he deserves it. And I will begrudgingly eat my way through gross seeds to watch him suffer further. Suck it. <laughs> Yo, that's sibling goals though. Seriously, goals. I let a toddler shoplift because I hate my boss. Ah, I had a mother with four kids come through my line. The youngest was about two. She said he could have a candy bar and told him to put it on the belt. I rang everything up. Apparently the little dude still has an internalized object permanence and grabbed the same bar from the display. Mum wasn't watching, but I was. I guess she thought one of the other kids gave the bar to the little dude because she picked him up and carried him out. Candy bar in hand. He waved bye. I waved back. No one came back to later return the bar or pay for it. I know because I was there another four hours and I didn't see Dink. Corporate treats us like shit so they can afford a missing candy bar. Mum probably didn't notice a second bar either. Oh hey, this is innocent. <laughs> they didn't even need to do anything. No. But how true is that line though? Corporate treats us like shit. Honestly, companies only care about money. They don't really care about their workers. How sad. But without the workers, they may be making shit. Don't hold the lift. Okay, then I'll waste your time. This happened just now as I was getting home. It was raining and I had no umbrella. So I went to get back to my house to dry off. Well, a delivery guy beat me inside the building and managed to be five seconds ahead of me and stepped into the elevator and pressed the closed door button, knowing that I was right behind him, pretty much closing the doors in my face. So there I stood, wet tied and now mildly angry. That's when I decided that going home can wait. Petty revenge was more important. If I had to wait for the elevator, then so does he. I noticed he got off on the 24th floor, so I called the elevator back and stepped inside. I pressed all the buttons on the way up. I got off on my floor and waited for it to stop on the 24th floor. Then knowing he was on his way down, I called the elevator so it would stop one more time. I don't care that I wasted some more of my time, but knowing that I wasted his in return gave me a little satisfaction. <laughs> These are actually so petty. <laughs> but yes, uh, this is the kind of person that I'll be. Yep. They give it back double. I delivered revenge like a Disney princess. So here in my block, we have this neighbor who's just the combination of every bad neighbor habit. To make things more visual, we're mainly talking about half a block here, except the one in the middle that is a car detailing and accessory store. So this store's roof makes every house on this half block visible to each other. So the major complaint is the noise this guy blasts trash music all day long, which will not be a problem if this guy respected the volume and time allowed. Everyone in the block has called the police because of the noise after 12 a.m. at least once. When my family called the police at 3 a.m., the police told us that the sound had already exceeded the permitted decibels since before the street began. But I guess money is not a problem for this guy because he keeps doing it. Since everybody was calling the police on him because of the noise, he decided to call the police because of the noise of a newborn baby crying. When the policemen arrived, they told the guy to F off. So that was a mini win. Ah! Oh! The audacity! Besides, this guy's also a creep. He keeps staring through every window. The majority of the neighbors had installed tinted windows or curtains because of this particular guy. I literally couldn't enjoy sunlight because this dude kept staring at my window whenever my underage sister was on the room. <gasps> Obviously there's more, but this were the major complaints. Cue the revenge. Since this guy is used to being awake during the night blasting terrible music, he sleeps basically all morning and absolutely hates birds chirping because it wakes him up. You can literally hear him complaining and closing the windows when the birds start singing. So I decided to plan based on that. I asked every neighbor if they were okay with the birds chirping. They majority said they love it. Then I asked the detailing store if I could scatter some seeds on the roof to attract birds. The owner said absolutely yes, because the guy threw trash at the store's roof. So every single week the owner had to clean the gutters. So I started scattering the seeds every day at 5 a.m. the store's roof in less than a week. I have a full army of birds. I also started putting things like leaves, twigs, dog hair and other things so the birds could build nests nearby. In my window there's also water for the birdies. Now the most delicious part of my revenge was when I decided the birds needed a little treat. I have a friend that breeds insects for people to feed their exotic pets so I asked him for a hundred crickets to feed the birds. He gave me an amazing discount and the next day I was also scattering crickets in that roof. 
They both started eating the crickets, but obviously they couldn't eat them all. So the rest of the dozens of crickets that escaped ran to the nearest shelter, the idiot's open balcony. You may think, couldn't he just kill the birds or something? Well, he tried, but the odds are in our favor because the birds that come chirping on his windows are protected by ambient law. So if he tries to harm them, he'll pay a much more expensive fine than the sound pollution one. Now, my block is the only place in the ghetto where you can wake up every day like a Disney princess with more than 30 birds chirping and the sounds of a very distressed evil neighbor. <laughs> wow, I want to experience that. No, I want to feel like a Disney princess every single day. That's cute. I probably need this though, because yes, I want birds to wake me up too. But I just can't believe this guy. Seriously, complaining because of a baby crying? And his blasting music every single day at 3 a.m. <sighs> How annoying. And the fact that nothing happens to him because he can just pay the fine, right? He's rich enough to just pay it off. Mm. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.